I, I He's definitely like bodied me with characters he doesn't even play before, so... His, his Game & Watch is something... His Marth is good, his like Marth? his Marth Lucina. I didn't know he had a Marth. I mean, obviously, if you got a Lucina, you probably have a Marth down there somewhere, but I always thought that he just preferred Lucina. Yeah. But Okay, so coming in... Ooh, actually, two relatively good players. We got Beastly and SS Austin. Yeah, we just saw Austin playing doubles, and no. uh, mm -hmm. Beastly did pretty well at the Arcadian, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he definitely he got top eight right. He had a sick loser's run, and they are opting for the Nest Ditto. I know Beastly has a Nest and a Cloud. Uh, okay. I'm kind of surprised that he went the Nest, because this Ditto is kind of notoriously uh, ridiculous. A we've, lot of silly stuff can happen. We've seen what Austin can do to uh, even better players, uh, power rank players like Chucky. Oh, where yeah. he's uh, ended he again. Oh 28 my seconds. Good golly goodness! That was that was an Austin right That's there. Austin. That was definitely something. Can, that can he beat his record of 28 seconds to finish a game? Oh my God! Like he's on the Smashville platform, but oh Beastly's my goodness! Beastly. Austin, there's so many up airs involved no. here. Austin really, really wanted him right there. He has <laughs> Beastly has lasted longer. Than Chucky did. That is, which is impressive to last any amount of time against Austin's Ness in a ditto because Austin eats this ditto for breakfast. Oh my goodness. Forward throw? <laughs> oh, he wasn't able to get the grab. Beastly smartly able to get out of that situation back on stage and honestly, uh oh. This ditto is not over until it's over. Let's be really honest. It takes two Austin recoveries for this to be a win for Beastly. Uh oh. That was Whoa. so incredibly close, but the back throw is going to seal it out nice and clean with only 67% on us. And I do believe there's a solid chance that we're going to see the cloud coming out of Beastly. Yeah, and that's something that we see uh, the, right there at the end, that what happened is Beastly came so close to death that he chose that panic roll on stage. And then Austin said, as a top player, I know you're probably going to do this, and I'm ready for the back throw. Austin just... Always ready with those ridiculous combos, and it's going to stay the ditto. Beastly doing really? it for the fans. Austin just running straight in with his PK Thunder 2. The most aggressive possible option. Shoutouts to uh, For Glory. Yeah. He's like, I don't care if you get a little bit of damage on Man. me. I know how last game went. I can, I can do this. Austin knows that he can have fun in a game like this, and Ooh. he's going to try his hardest to do so. That was actually a really, really nice angle down the PK Fire. Uh, to make sure that Austin wasn't able to cover Beastly's back on the stage. Meanwhile, Beastly trying to do a little bit of that Austin shenanigans. I thought maybe he was going to go for that PK Thunder 2 stuff, and I realized I'm looking at the wrong Ness. <laughs> Man. Right now, Beastly's actually keeping it relatively even. Yeah. And that can be difficult in the Ness Ditto, especially um, you know, against somebody like Austin, who's always uh, you know balls out in this matchup. Fourth throw won't do it yet, but... He's right in that meaty percent for a nice back throw anywhere on the stage. That's the audio. Really smart use of that platform to get Beastly on the stage without having to even worry about contesting the yo-yo. Meanwhile, Beastly could could be in... Ooh, calling out the spot dodge, though. He knew he wanted to grab. However, he's still in a pretty favorable position. I mean, back throw at the edge of the stage or even an up air there will take that and... They're right back at even. Beastly showing that he can hold his own in this ditto. Ness can die at any percent in the ditto as long as you put him off stage. So, like this? Really? Yeah, this is still anybody's game. But right now, right, right now, Austin does have a slight advantage. Yeah, Austin just going in there with the neutral air. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was almost the silliest Austin thing. My dude. Here comes the kite block. Oh, great landing by Beastly, though. And to the big head. It was a big adjustment from Beastly going into game two. He actually held his ground a lot better, but Austin was still a little bit too much for him. Yeah, Austin is, I mean, he's, he's got to be, like, easily our best nest in the area. This man, <laughs> he's kind of crazy. He just has a lot of fun and then somehow also wins at the same time. He's a... Uh, I feel like we say that every time we talk about him, and I'm sure that anybody that watches this tournament week after week goes, here comes Austin. The commentators are going to talk about how crazy he plays. But that is the number one thing you got to know about the guy. I mean, if you if you watch any of his games, we're not wrong. No. I, I think he gets a PK Thunder 2 kill in every single game he plays, I'm no matter what level of player he is.